Welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming, where we are... Well, I'm, I'm kind of holding my tail between my legs. I made a grave mistake uh, recovering this truck after it being in the rift. And uh, yeah, it turns out there's a vehicle there that I want to grab. Uh, it's a scout vehicle. If you uh, played the game before, you know exactly what vehicle I'm talking about. But... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to jump cut. I know it's it's kind of weird only being 30 seconds in, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't, I don't think you guys should have to sit through the long drive of getting over there. So I will do this off camera, and I will see you guys when I get to the rift in a few seconds. Alright, so I actually wanted to bring you guys back in because on my way to the rift, I, uh, yeah, I realized we need a trailer, uh, that has repair points and that has, uh, gasoline, so, or diesel, whatever you want to call it, probably diesel, anyways, has fuel and, uh, and repair points, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take this trailer, if I don't, uh, crash into it. We're going to take this trailer back to, where is it, to this uh, trailer store slash repair yard, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, we're going to swing by, we're going to pick that up, we're going to, we're, first of all, we're going to drop off the goose gooseneck, we're going to pick up our service trailer, we're going to head over to the quarry. We're going to take care of Cliffhanger because that should also be, uh, we should be able to, to complete that mission. And then we'll go into the rift and recover the, uh, the APC. Let's just call it that for now. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to cut any of this out, but I did cut out the, uh, relatively simple mundane drive that we had all the way over here, so... Really nothing uh, exciting happened. I did record it just in case. <laughs> just, you know, if I happen to hit a pothole wrong and roll the truck over or something, something funny so that I could have it on uh, to edit into the, uh, the video. But unfortunately it was, it was pretty, it was pretty tame. So <clears throat> but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get this over to I guess I'll just call it the service yard. And then we'll get this sold. We'll keep, uh... Well, actually the money will probably go towards our service trailer, so... Um, unless we come across a service trailer, I don't believe we have one. Just kind of floating around, but... You never know, this game likes to hide things everywhere, so... And you never know. I, uh, I tend to forget where I leave things, so... And sometimes I hit, uh, random things as well. Alright, don't think there's anything over here. I mean, obviously this is the lumber yard, so that's gonna be a big, uh... That's gonna have a big part in, uh, most of the missions that we have to deal with. Uh, which we do have a trailer there. But there's another trailer. And I'm actually tempted to drag this one back as well. I don't think it's anything we're going to use. But we might as well get the money for it. Alright. Uh, you know what? I kind of wish I came the other way. That's okay. We'll, we'll loop around. <laughs> we should be... Should be fine to do that. And if I attach. Oh, that's not cool. This doesn't have an attach point at the back of it. Like I thought it would. Alright, well, I guess we'll leave that trailer there for now. At least we discovered it. And it should be, uh, yeah, it is on the map now. And if it wasn't before, then... I guess, I don't know. I, I never really noticed it until I drove by, so... 
I don't I don't think it was on the map. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Please do. And uh, yeah, we'll just we'll scoot around this mud. And we will uh, get back on track because we uh, yeah took a little detour. Um, and there's stumps. Not surprised. And all right, I almost I almost could just edit that out and pretend like none of that happened. But I'll leave it in just for uh, a little bit of entertainment. <laughs> Alright, I'm really, I mean, I could honestly still drag it back from the side anchor point, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. You never know, maybe it will come in handy. Maybe. Alright, I think we're, I think we're roughly about a quarter of a mile away. You know, these, uh, I, I hate to say it, but these maps seem like they're a little bit less exciting than, uh, Alaska or Michigan were. I don't know, it just seems, seems kind of basic, I guess. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. You know, these, these roads are pretty cool. They're, they're different. Interesting twist on, uh, having to go through the mud versus just straight up driving through it. But I do appreciate that. I like that. That would have that that path would have been a nightmare if it was three feet of mud the entire way. Alright. Let's uh I'm pretty sure I accepted that task last time I was here, so it should be okay. And I really sh normally, normally I would be focusing on these these little side tasks and things, but um, yeah, unfortunately we we kind of opened up the rift, and I'm just like, you know what? Let's just let's just continue in the rift. We'll come back and get this stuff uh, taken care of. Hey, the truck is fully repaired. I thought that was a repair zone. There's, there's actually two repair zones, which is very weird. I, w I mean, I would get it if it was on that side where you looped around the other way, but... Anyways, who knows. Oh, that's fuel. I thought the fuel was the repair zone. Okay, maybe I'm just... I don't know. Daydreaming or something. Uh, so let's get our $5,700 back for that. We need... Service trailer. 356. Ooh. That might be cutting it close. I guess. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so let's go ahead and fill up. Got a full tank of gas. Got a full service trailer. I wish I had. Uh, I could, I mean, I could stop and actually look up how many repair points you need. Uh, yeah, that's that's not gonna be fun if I have to come back. <laughs> but at the same time, we're doing two things at once, so yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna have to, to take that chance. Um. As you can see, Cliffhanger needs uh, almost 250 points by itself. So that's actually going to... Um, that's actually going to take most of this trailer. The field's nothing. Maybe we skip... Yeah, I'd rather go after the... Uh, 
the scout versus getting the uh, the cliffhanger. So I think we're gonna attempt that. And I'm not even 100% sure how many uh, repair points that needs. I have a feeling it's more than 350, so... Uh, maybe I should just bring the big... You know what? Hold on one second. Alright, if anyone was an uh, eagle-eyed viewer, they would notice that my trailer has changed color because I... I decided to uh, forego the fuel and just go straight up for the repair points. Um, we'll, we'll only be taking 16 gallons out of this truck from the for the cliffhanger. And to tell you the truth, chances are, if it's the type of mission that I think it is, we'll be able to uh, take the gas back out of it. But. It may not be so. We we may lose that 16 gallons, but hopefully we'll uh, we'll come across a trailer or a fuel stop before. And push comes to shove. Uh, hopefully we'll have enough fuel just from this truck to get the uh, the APC running. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be using that from uh, the point that we pick it up. So, come on. It's a, a little bit muddier through here than I remember. I'm pretty sure I just went through their last episode, and I do not recall it being that muddy. But then again, I think, yeah, I think that's where I did my shortcut that turned out to be a long cut. Which is never, uh, never great, so... And this mud here doesn't look like it's too bad at all. In fact, it hasn't even slowed us down yet. Come on! Yeah, definitely that, uh, shortcut took a lot longer than it should have. Ah, uh, that's usually what happens with SnowRunner. Your short shortcuts usually uh, end up costing you more time in the long run. Maybe that's a metaphor for life. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go right through the snow. Not even coming close to getting the, the uh, to the path. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, we need to go one more. It's always it's past the uh, the random hole, the crater in the ground filled up with water. I don't know why, but Russia has a bunch of these craters, so, I, I, you know, you tell me why they're there. I have my uh, suspicions. Alright, so it's downpouring like crazy right now. That's always, always makes for a good trip. And uh, I think we can just kind of... Oh, stupid stumps. I, sh I need a... Wow, there's like a lot of stumps here. Let's just split the difference and hope the trailer makes it through. All right. I also know there's a there's an upgrade somewhere. I think it's over here. I might try to get that upgrade as well today. You know, I kind of feel like I'm biting off more than I can chew. Uh, we also might have to do a full loop of this quarry. Because <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to turn around very easily. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 don't you fall over, trailer. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was super close. Wow, that was, that was, that was, yeah. I thought about letting off the gas, but I, was, I, I knew more forward momentum would, would keep the uh, trailer from tipping all the way. And yeah, luckily I was right, so... Um, okay, that, that's cool. Uh, let's repair first. Uh, the service trailer to the Tuts, we'll do all of them. It's good to go. Now we can uh, refuel. 
And hopefully, we'll get this ga mu or gas back. Oh, are you kidding me? Where's the hermit shack? Way over there. All right, well, you know what? That's fine. We'll leave it there for now. I don't think we'll have anything to worry about. Well, you know what? I like how now that I'm thinking about this, I could just drag this out of here. I wonder if I if I cause damage to it. Nope. Okay, good. Let's just get this truck out. Try not to roll it. Uh, I, I feel like I'm biting off more than I can chew. So I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the living crap out of that truck. Uh, I guess we just keep going straight. I would like... Yeah, I would like everything to level off for me. That's convenient, thank you. I don't even, I don't even want to know how that vehicle just did that. I'm pretty sure that cable just passed through a couple trees. Alright, so... Uh, let's get it out to the main road. Yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll circle around to the main road. And technically, we can steal the gas back out of it. So I was right about that. So that's that's good. <laughs> that's always a bonus. So we'll we'll steal the gas out of it. I don't think it matters if you deliver it empty. For some reason, it's just part of the uh, part of the mission to fill it up. Doof. Big old splash down through there. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Let's take this turn wide. Disconnect. I'm not a fan of these uh, tandem axle trailers. They're dolly trailers, that's what I mean. Can I fill it up? Nope. I can honk at myself. Alright, let's see. I should be able to refuel from there. Yep. And now I can steal my gas bag. <laughs> Alright, so we got... We, we did a mish, uh, half of a mission. So that's, uh, you know, it's not too bad. I think this might actually be an easier route to get to the rift anyways. Uh, but we, we still have the upgrade up here. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is where the upgrade was. Oh, come on, truck. Looks like it's going to be a slow, steady climb. There we go. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is any better than the route that I took the last time I went to the rift. You definitely have to overshoot your climb and then 
go back down the trail. So I'm going to leave the trailer here in this little flat spot. There. Right where it can't uh, roll away. If I can find the detach button. Alright, let's wander over here. Let's see what upgrade this is. And this was uh, extremely easy to get to, which is a little on the sad side. Uh, we got the KR120 AT, uh, which is a engine for the Con. Oh, the Tuts 166, the Dawn 71, the Gore by four, the Gore by four, and the Con LOF, LO4F. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Now you guys know where that upgrade is if you're looking for it. If you weren't, then, well, too bad. <clears throat> drive forward. Let's uh, try not to get stuck or roll this thing over. Um, or crash horribly into the rock and kill our suspension. That would have been a smart thing not to do. That's okay. Uh, I, mean, I think we sneak up to the left, don't we? Yeah, this is just the weirdest. This is not going to be uh, easy to get this trailer up here. Now, if I remember correctly, we need to hug the edge of this rock. And hope that trailer doesn't fall off. Nice. There we go. All right, so where are we going? I think was it here? No, it wasn't there. That's a trailer. There it is. Ah, oh, right there. I knew it was somewhere on this side of the map. So we gotta go get that thing. And uh, I think what I'll do is I will, we'll get to this point about here and then I will circle back. I will, uh, first of all, drop off the trailer and then grab that watchtower. That seems like the, uh, the easiest thing to do. Definitely seems like the smartest thing to do. And do we have any fuel? That's, that's, yeah, there's a fuel station right there. So we'll swing by, we'll pick up some more fuel. Just in case. I don't believe that vehicle has a super large capacity. It is technically a scout vehicle. Just had to make, just had to make sure I was going the right way. I've, uh, I've done that too many times before. It's never fun going the wrong way. Alright, so how do I want to do this? Well, we're just going to have to do like 20 turns. Or five. I think five turns. That counts. Alright, we've got a full tank of gas now. No worrying there about fuel. Oh. <laughs> I gotta worry about my steering though. Jeez. That's uh, not very good. Alright, we can cut through here. I don't see any stumps. 
I guess we'll find them if there are any, which there weren't. All right, so now we're back on track. Let's uh, get to the uh, the fork in the road. Miss that turn. <laughs> All right, we're getting closer. We're almost there. All right, so this is the fort. Yep. Okay, so let's just drop that off there, and we just gotta head up the road to the left. Normally, I would like to leave this for. Uh, the scout vehicle, but I mean, it's it's right here. It's just crying out to us to go get it, and it looks like it's going to be another one of those uh, little tiny towers. Nope, I was wrong. It's a it's a decent sized tower. Oh man, I thought it was that thing, but it's not. It's the actual tower next to it. And it looks like there's an objective there as well, so we'll have to grab that before we go down. Quick little shot of that. Um, yeah, so we got unexpected guests. Ooh, there's a... Whoa. There's a scout fuel trailer way out here. Oh, that must be a mission. That's gonna be... Yeah, that's going to be a little on the... That's going to be different. <laughs> it's going to actually take some uh, thinking. Uh, so let's... Let's grab this real quick. Um, reach the suspicious camp. Apparently that's what that is. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll get that later. I want, I want a new scout vehicle, and I know we just, technically we got the R87, um, but yeah, like, it, I wish you got that vehicle in, like, Alaska, that would have been a good scout vehicle to get on, like, one of the last two maps in Alaska. But I guess, I mean, that would put it five, so maybe the last map of Alaska you get the Yar. And then this, this vehicle you get on the third map of Russia. Alright. Anyways, it is what it is. Can't really change any of it, because I'm not a developer. But uh, as you can see, I think we're heading towards that uh, yellow square. So that's a tight fit. Okay, I'm glad the uh, the trailer fits. <laughs> I remember looking at this uh, area, thinking that's a great off-roading area. And look at us go. Um, yeah, we're probably going to take some damage getting through here. Well, you know what? May have been better to go this way. Ouch. Okay, let's try going up this route. Uh-oh. <laughs> I am not having very much fun doing this right now. Come on. Just stop. Oh, I can't even reach it yet. 
We're just gonna have to go for it. Uh, oh, that was close. That was that was horribly, 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 horribly close. Oh look, we got a scout trailer or a cover trailer there as well. We haven't had very many of those. I haven't seen one of those since Michigan. Alright, so let's uh, show the task here. Let's accept it. We have to get that to higher ground. Um, close. If, am I... Am I wrong in thinking I can just repair it from here? Yep, I am wrong. Alright, uh, let's detach this trailer before before it flips us or anything else. Can I winch on? Yeah, I should. Oh, wow, that was uh, wanting to pull me in. You're gonna be able to pull this up? Yeah, we can scrape it up, it's fine. Out you come. And that is what happens when you have a heavy duty truck. Just don't. I'm gonna end up pushing it back in. Ugh. Okay, it's okay. There we go. Let's see if I can. Can I winch it up? All right, you know what? We'll do this. We've got plenty of room to work with over here. Oh, probably helps if I take off my parking brake. All right, there we go. So it is now. No, you gotta go straight. Oh, do I get- I gotta- You're joking, right? I gotta get it up here? Alright, well let's, uh... Well, I guess let's get it up here first. Come on. We definitely brought the right truck for this job. <laughs> I thought about bringing the Yar. I thought about bringing the Yars, or the Yar, whatever you want to call it. The other scouts that we just got. Oh. What happened? I gotta repair it first and then pull it to that air. Are you kidding me? All right, well, let's skip to morning. Actually, let's skip to the afternoon. Wow, my eyes are blind. <laughs> um, you know what? This actually might be an easier way to do it. I don't know why I didn't think about trying to do it this way last time. We should be within range, yep. We will now just yank this up the hill. Doesn't matter. Okay, maybe it does matter. Come on, go forward. All right, well, we're in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> Uh, let's try to pull it that way.
All right, well, let's uh, yank it this way more first. Can we get a running start, please? There we go. Come on, get your butt up there. Get up here. Come on. Seriously? Alright, let's release the winch. Attach it back to the front. There we go. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Like, why? It came out so easy the first time. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't know what the heck is going on here. Like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, let's try to pull it this way. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. I don't understand why it's not coming out. Oh, that's not gonna help. That's probably not gonna help either. Let's not get our truck stuck. Okay, I can't even get a running start to get this vehicle out. Alright. Let's restart it one more time. Let's attach the winch. I don't know, I think it glitched somehow. It came out so easy the first time. And now it's on its side again. Can I just yank it out sideways? Let's, uh, let's try this again. Let's put the back end of the truck way over here this time. Oh, it still wants to roll it side, on its side.
I'm I'm kind of glad it allows you to restart. <laughs> All right. Last time we were facing a horrible direction. Okay, that's not. We're not even close enough yet. Pull it this way first. All right, guys, I have not struggled this hard um, in a very, very, very long time. And I think it all has to do with the fact that I uh, didn't do this mission in the right order. Are you kidding me? Come on! Get up there! Okay, I think we finally got it. I think we finally got it. Now I gotta back up a little bit. Oh, don't fall back down! There you go. You get your butt up there. Come on. I can't believe this. I can't believe it still doesn't want to come up. I'm going to end up using all my fuel. get this stupid thing up the hill and I think we finally did it we finally freaking did it okay let's not crash into it So let's repair. Uh, awesome. And then we will refuel. Crap. Do I need to? Re I don't think I need to refuel. Fuel it. I think I just needed to repair it. Um, yeah, because now that's saying I gotta pull it up there, so detach trailer. We will attach the winch. Alright guys, we finally did it. I don't know what went wrong there why I had to restart it so many times that was literally insane oh and now I gotta put fuel in it and I can't do it because I used too much freaking fuel all right, let's put the fuel back in. I'm going to take that money. Yeah, I'm going to take that much fuel. I got to go get more fuel, guys. Like, I can't believe I took that much time and that much effort. 
to uh, get that thing unstuck. It's it's got to be a new record for me to. I, I don't think I've ever restarted a mission. Have I? I don't think I have. And then to let alone have to restart it, what? Three or four times? Nope, that trailer. What do you mean it's too far away? Oh yeah. Let's just, let's get this trailer out of here. Now we can catch the trailer. Oops. You're kidding. I can't. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out. There's no anchor points. And those rock faces are way too high. And because this is a tandem... Yeah guys, I'm uh, I'm kind of screwed. Well, when in doubt, just ram your trailer. I don't think I can even get out this side. Oh, maybe I can. Okay, somehow I just did that. I'm definitely glad I took the 42 gallon or 43 gallons. Let's get the heck out of here. Just so we can come back. Because <laughs> I need more fuel! Definitely glad though. I'm definitely glad I decided to uh, switch trailers from the fuel trailer because I don't think we would have had enough repair points. I don't. In fact, Yeah, we went through 300 and some odd repair points, and I think we only had two something. So, yeah, I think it was a good idea. And now, the real question is, where am I? Oh, I came this way. Okay, that's fine. We'll go down through here. We'll uh, we'll figure a way out. That is very steep. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful thing. All right, and Good thing cables can go through trees. Um, now, how do I get fuel from here? I gotta go left. Okay, so we can scurry down this road. Let's uh, skip to morning. We'll. we'll Guess we'll leave the lights on. Why not? Good news is we can ditch this trailer. At least we don't have to bring that back through here. What is this? Is this a task? Have I accepted this task? I have not. Well, I'm glad I uh, came through this way. 
Let's just knock that out of the way. And... Oh, we should have technically cleared that. Alright, let's uh, repair this truck because it probably needs it. And then we can uh, drop it off. Grab some fuel. Okay, and then technically... Where am I? Yeah, we can just scoot right back up that way. And all we gotta do is put fuel in this thing. Oh, I thought that was a stump. It's just a rock. Easily could have went through it. There's still, like, there's still this fog. I'd hate to see what this place looks like with the fog turned on. Okay, now I feel like we're getting somewhere. I was hoping to do, uh, get the watchtowers this episode, but that was a struggle to get that thing out. And I... I was going to say it glitched for some reason. I don't know if it did. It definitely got hung up. Uh, so you want to be careful about which way you yank it out of there. Because it... Uh, yeah, it did, it did not come out very easily. And those rocks there. Ooh. Well, you know what? As long as we get over, we should be okay. Alright, we've got plenty enough fuel this time to fill it up. Glad I left 23 gallons in though. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and fill this up. Of course I did it backwards. Why not? Is there any other way to do it? All right, so that was worth three thousand dollars. But the important thing is, is we now have we now have this vehicle, which looks absolutely horrible, and it puts out so much <laughs> diesel. This thing is the definition of rolling on coal. And yeah, we'll just get that out of the way. Let's, uh, figure out what this is. Um, let's accept it. Why not? Uh, so the con... Ooh, there's another truck in here? How did it... Why did it randomly just pick this vehicle? That's strange. Um, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna say, let's go for it. This is the, uh, third watchtower that we're going for. No, oh, apparently I just go this way. I think there's a trail through here somewhere. But yeah, as you guys can see, this thing just does not care what's in front of it. It just it just doesn't care. Like I can go through this tree. Actually, any vehicle pretty much can go through those trees. Uh, but I can go over this mud like it wasn't even there. I mean, this is the closest thing we get to a. Uh, a Sherpa. Or I believe the other word is Unimog. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty much the closest thing. Unless they actually put one in. That might be an upgrade, who knows. Or a, uh, if it's not a uh, DLC, it's probably definitely a, uh, a mod that somebody has made. Because how could you not have one of those in this game? Well, I guess we technically have this APC, so. <clears throat> Which, I can't wait to get it back and get it refueled, repaired, and, uh... Get it specced out and upgraded. Uh, we've got another task up here. You know, I was thinking this place was going to be pretty empty. For, uh, things to do, but... I was wrong. 
We've got another another task. More importantly, we're gonna have another upgrade or uh, another uh, watchtower. Which I mean, you think that was the watchtower, right? Maybe that is the watchtower. Yeah, it is the watchtower. <laughs> I'm just so used to the boxes being around the bases of the watchtowers. Um, I can tell you that is not a watchtower that I would be going up anytime soon. All right, so we've uh, we've really started to open up the map. So I think what I'm going to do, we're going to stop the engine. We're going to call it good here. I mean, we have the truck that we have to get back, so that's, I mean, this whole area over here is probably completely empty. There's nothing that I can see that looks like an upgrade or a vehicle. So this is all empty, this whole area in here. I don't think there's a single thing in this whole area. Anyways, we will, uh, yeah, we'll call that an episode here. We will maybe go after the fourth watchtower. I feel like we need to do the fourth watchtower first. We'll worry about this upgrade. I mean, the upgrade's pretty much simple once you get to this area. Well, we're going to have to go there anyways. Uh, we've got a task here that we could probably pick up. Or have we? Uh, maybe we have picked that up. Uh, but yeah, we definitely got to go back this way. So we're gonna we're gonna head that way in the uh, the next episode. I don't know why I started it up, but uh, if you guys like this episode, give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you liked about the episode. Uh, let me know that you guys struggled with that too, because that would make me feel better about myself. Um, if you tell me that it was the simplest thing you've uh, ever done, I'll be a little disappointed and sad. So, uh, but yeah, if you uh, like the episode, like I said, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to watch more SnowRunner content, uh, please subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. So we will see you in the next episode. Um, bye for now.